Hi, this will be Debbie with Deanne's Designs, and this will be a video response to a swap that I have received. This will be from Diane Furlihy. Hopefully, I said her name correctly. Um, we were swap partners in Dream It, Imagine It, and Create It, and the project was to uh, create bird houses for uh, each other and do the swap so mine has come in I just want to share this on the bottom of this check out this this was on the outside of the box she's wrapped it in a very strong round uh, brown uh, wrapping paper it has these little birds up on her I thought well that'll be perfect in a junk journal so thank you very much for that Diane and believe me it'll, it'll come in quite helpful and useful for me she left me a card in here, which um, I believe she has stamped and done a little glitter job on, which is very nicely done in blue on my pad. And it says, Hi, Debbie. Thanks for trading with me. I love my birdhouse, Diane. And and it was an honor to, to trade with you. It truly was. I, I appreciate all that you have done. I would like to go over some of the interesting extras that she put in this box which was a good size box and um, let me go over that real quick with you before I do the birdhouse so we have a nice little tag right here isn't this cute is it done in the blues and the greens we're gonna have I don't know for sure what kind of background we got there but it almost feels like it might have been painted and then we have a uh, blue paper that has been torn and applied on here and it looks like little blue and green type flowers with the pearls into the center pearl outline and then we have three diamantes into her wedding bouquet and the little couple the little happy couple right there and then we have her little blue and green tie offs on the top we have a sea turtle to the back isn't he cute and then we have a little elephant down here on, on the bottom of the tag. Very cute. Very well done. Thank you so much, Diane. Okay, next up is this tag. And this is a beaut, let me tell you. This is, um, let's see if I can get it out of her package. She has wonderful packages that she put her things in. Um, just really pretty. Very nice. Uh, these are, this is the next tag that she put up for me. Isn't that pretty? She's left it with making sure it had some decoration down through here. But then she put the beads, it looks like, onto here. She added beads on around to the top of her hat. And then she added this little floral rose. And then she has some netting that is brought up here. with It's lace that she's tucked in here as part of her hat. She's also got the lace brought out here around the, the pretty girl's little face. And then we have uh, her backdrop is looks like it's been stenciled and perhaps some uh, diamond glitter put onto it. Probably diamond dust. And then we're going to have some uh, real pretty diamond type of, of jewels running around over here. We have, and it looks like it's kind of in a circle formation. It comes up through here. Oops, I'm sorry about that, Diane. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it's all around. We've got two little flowers. Let's put this back on here real quick. And then we have the real pretty little purple. This is oh well, really it's a darker pink. This is these are really light pink, which matched really well with this darker in here, the darker pink. But it could be I I kind of look at it like a little bit of lavender. But anyway, we have a, a clear, and then we have a couple of little. Let's look almost look like. A burgundy a purple deep deep purple it's that's very pretty and so is this ribbon and it just matches in here with this pink accent so well thank you so much this is this is really pretty little little clear diamante on here very very thick chipboard this this is exceptionally thick I don't know if you cut it or you bought it this way but you have a great cutting system if you cut this thing because that is yeah, I believe she did. I believe she cut it. That is really thick. Very nice. Thank you very much. This really wasn't necessary, but I sure do enjoy it when I'm when I'm receiving it. Thank you so much. 
let me put it back into its little bag now so I don't mess it up. Okay. That over here too with the last bag. And then we have this little roll of lace that has come and she looks like she's put together a little cylinder. Don't know for sure what these are or how they're actually put together here. Let me see. Let's see if you can see these. Doesn't show up all that well on my with my wonderful lighting by any means. Let's see if I can help you out here. Anyway, there's their disc and they've been attached to probably a quarter inch dowel rod. Maybe they may even call that one an eighth. And um, then she's wrapped this beautiful lace. Look at this all the way around here. She has this really pretty seam binding. That is kind of a grayish color. It's it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. I wish I had a bunch more of that stuff too. That's, that's really, really pretty. And then this lace. Look at that. Can use that everywhere. Thank you so much for that, Diane. I really, really appreciate this. All of these. I really do. And the next thing up to bat here looks like she has a pressed out card. It looks like it's been cut out and then embossed also with the cutter. Um, it looks like, oh, we've got a little girl. This is probably one of those little Tim Holtz dolls. Uh, people, I should call them. The big, big bow on the little girl is pretty huge. Boy, I wish I could get this in better. Maybe if I put it down this way, you could see it a little better. I hope. Isn't she cute? And then it came with this paper clip. And it was clipped together as this. So you can, I mean, there's, there's three different objects right there to use as you need to and that's really really nice to have thank you very much and then I'm going to do this over here the next one I have in here is a package you can see they're pretty little florals that are uh, ruffled around as such these are really cute I like those it's a pretty color very neutral, can be used in a lot of different places. And then we're going to have a little pearl right there in the center. Yes, and then it has a very sticky Velcro back here in the back. Well, it's not Velcro, I'm sorry. It's a it's a stick pad. Yes, that's really pretty. The other two will be made the same way as what this one here is. It looks great. Thank you very much. Then we have, it uh, looks like Manor House Metal Pendant. This would be what it looks like. Very pretty. Very Victorian looking. You could really use that in a shabby type of atmosphere, I suppose. It's very, probably anywhere, actually. And then this one here is a little tag she left me. And it's reading that it's my very first rose. I learned how to do them so I could put one on the back of your birdhouse. How about that? Here's the rose. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you so much, Diane. It looks like it might be the, the uh, toll type painting uh, where you're learning to lift two colors into one brush and put them on very, very smoothly. I love how this came out. You did a wonderful job on here. I'll have to show everybody the back of the birdhouse to show them the, the flower you managed to put on because that is very pretty you did a great job you should continue making those and using those you know because that's that's really nice you could use them anywhere and then I got this elephant with the little the little jewels inside he's really cute he's kind of large key ring what it looks like on here but he make a nice little dangle on something thank you so much she looks like she's also went ahead and made me some um, dangles to hang this looks like it's going to be more of it and that's kind of along the same lines as this 
right in here, isn't it? How nice is that? They're very long. Very pretty. This one here's got quite a sparkle in there on this little ball, too. And then we have this guy over here. Very cute. Very nicely done. I like that heart in there. That's cute. And then she gave me two packages of these. And we have those two. And then we're going to have these two. And they've got the real pretty greens into here. This one looks like it has like a floral, some sort of floral design pattern in here on that. That's nice. And again, back with our greens again. And then, of course, she has one that is in white. Look at this. I wonder if she's tying her own ends because she does a perfected job. Very nicely done on her ends. I'll have to learn how to get that good. And then we have all of these little beads with this one. I really enjoy these. There will be so many different uses on things like that. Thank you so much. And then we have lots of pearls that she's tied together and given to me. And then we have, looks like a crochet trim. It looks, oh, it's more of the, they're large, they're extra large buttons. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And then she put them on a cylinder of sorts. Yep, it's probably about an inch anyway. Dowel rod. And then uh, tied it up using this real pretty snowflake burlap ribbon. Very pretty. And then this is what it looks like. Isn't that nice? You make good coverage out on your uh, journals even to do your binding up with it. Cover your binding if you like to do that. Which I do sometimes. Very pretty. I really appreciate all these efforts too takes a lot to get all of this done and get it packaged up and get it all shipped out and just and trying to figure out like Diane and I've never met we've never swapped before so we were trying to figure out what do we do for each other and what would each other like and uh, so it was it was quite a challenge just to do that birdhouse was simple we had to figure out the rest of it and you don't have to do these in in our swaps you don't even begin to have to do this not not mandatory whatsoever is, but if you like to do it, then you do it, and I guess I like to do it, and I guess Diane does too, because that's exactly what we did. Now to get to my birdhouse. Adjust this up a little bit more. I'm going to put her in just here. There we go. Try to get her all fit in here. She's a, a single story. She's going to have a roof shingle looking roof going on here she's got it covered in now uh, into glitter it looks like a larger type of uh, clear glitter with a pink edging that she's put around the whole top like that on both sides if you can see let's see if I can it might be the chunky glitter not for sure Anyway, down the sides here, let's go on down to here, and you're going to see there's printing is possibly stamped on. Then she's laid some lace over the top of it. Then she's come back and put a floral petals down on here, and nice florals off into the background of these petals. Isn't that pretty? And then we have, uh, looks like we've got, is this supposed to be there? Yeah, yes, so. This little pretty guy down here at the bottom. And then we have our lace that is covering up the back all the way around. The front and the back, the sides, all the edges. And we're going to go back here to the back and you're going to see oops, a mirror onto here outlined with pearls. But look up above here. See all that sparkle? There's that rose that she's learned how to paint just so she could put it on the back of my birdhouse. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty job and such a caring thing to do, but to learn a new technique like you have done. its That's really good, and that's what this crafting is really all about, I think, when you're in these groups and you're doing these swaps. 
to challenge yourself doing something new. And that's exactly what you've done, Diane. It's just really, really pretty. The whole birdhouse looks so well put together and just I just love how it all complements each other with, with the colors and, and with the theme that you ran across it. This is the other side and we have again some it looks like maybe perhaps some stamping that's gone on here. We've got some more lace that's coming across in here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then we have this crochet over here into the back. We have these little florals back into here. She's got little stems of pearls. And this one here, centerpiece, is more of a, a clear diamond look going. And then we have the lace running down through here. Then you come back over to the front. Now let's check out this front scene here for a while. At the very top of this peak, let's see if I can get a little bit more up for you. At the peak of this, you're going to see this little dangle. It's going to come down and hang down to the very front of the birdhouse. Isn't that a pretty ball that's hanging there? And then you go on, and she's got little hearts, little pink hearts that are coming out around there. It's all been onto a stamped background, okay? And then we have this real pretty little piece right here, centering right above the entrance into the birdhouse. And then you have the pearls that are outlining the, the entrance. Then we have the word love. Then we have the bird. Isn't he pretty? And a little white bird. It looks wonderful. And then we have the little, these little pearl strands that are wrapping around. We have a few pearl strands down at the bottom here. We have little florals. And they too have large pearls coming out of them. That's a real pretty shape on those pearls for those flowers too. I like that. And then she has a pink uh, glass flat glass that she's laid down into here more stamping into the background look at this rose is that thing not pretty that is so light and fluffy and it just it just really looks so nice on this birdhouse everything looks so nice I really want to thank you Diane for all the work and all the efforts that you put into this and I'd like to thank everybody for coming on my channel today to see how, how this swap turned out for for me and, and I really hope that everybody has had as much enjoyment on their swaps from Dream It, Imagine It, and Create It as what I have had with this one. Thank you so much, Diane, and thank you all for coming to watch this today. And everybody have a good day and happy crafting.